been a little uh, while since I posted. Um, some things have happened here at Polygon Golf about a month and a half ago. Uh, Pete Johnson passed away, so I'd like to, you know, put a special, you know, we're still with you, brother. Love you to death and uh, go from there. Um, so like I said, it's been a little difficult for us here at Polygon Golf Team. Pete was a really big part of um, everything that I do. Anyways, what I want to talk to you about today is the takeaway and how to really stop flipping the club inside. See, what a lot of people do when they're, you know, making their golf swing, they go this way. And that would make sense because, you know, I use the Polygon Golf Swing Trainer for illustrative purposes so that you're able to see the true angle changes and the things that are necessary to make the golf swing work. But what a lot of people do, right-handed players, um, left-handed players, they'd be their lead side too. What a lot of people do is they go this way, see how I'm taking the right side of my body and I'm following the Polygon Golf Swing Trainer. But when you do that, a lot of people, they go like this and flip that club inside way too soon. Now you're gonna get a better example of this when we look at the down the line perspective, but really, what needs to happen is you need to control the golf swing at least all the way to the top of the golf swing with the left side of your body. And when you start to understand this, it is really going to open up a light bulb because a lot of instructors out there, they're like, well, you just do this and you do this. And if you start looking at them when they're showing you that, you're going to see how they're doing this with the left side of their body. I mean, and that's as simple as it is, because if I'm using the left side and I go to flip that club in, you can still do it, but it's really a backside problem, which for a right-handed player is going to be the right-handed side. For left-handed, it's going to be the left-handed side. But when you start to understand, hey, I can fix this for good in a very short period of time, okay? So what the move is really, it's right here, we've got the baseline for those of you that seen everything. We've got R1, R2, R3, and the top line. Then you've got L3, L2, L1, and of course, back to the baseline. This configuration is set up for what I like to show is the path of the hand. So you're gonna start to understand that my body's gonna move, okay? So when it moves, this left shoulder is going down in the direction of L3, which is what everybody's gonna call the tilts today and whatever. So they say you gotta tilt and turn. Well, there is a tremendous amount of truth to that, but here inside the Polygon Golf Swing Trainer, you're going to visually start to understand why, because of the uh, symmetry that the product provides with the straight lines. It's nothing but matchups and configurations within three-dimensional space. And when you understand the geometry that surrounds the body, you know, it's really pretty simple to start making these moves. So what we do when we get set up, we're like right here, and we're like, oh, okay, that's pretty good. I'm good posture, everything. And now I'm going to take this left shoulder, the back of the left shoulder, which is really like the left shoulder blade, if you will. And we're going to move it in the direction of L3. And when I do that, the hands are going to start moving in the direction of R1. And R1 is down here, L3 is behind me. So what, now just the hands, not the club head. So the hands are just going this way. And when I do that, it is virtually impossible for me to snap this club inside unless I do something with my right side, okay? Because as soon as I allow the right side to start dominating things is where people get into a lot of trouble. So let's go ahead and take a look at this from down the line real quick. Okay, what we're doing now is we're looking at this from the down the line perspective. So what a lot of people do by engaging the right side they flip this club way inside way too quick. And it's just going to create all kinds of problems. You can come over the top. The, the problems are numerous. I mean, that's, let's just be honest with each other. But when you start to understand, watch this. I'm going to move the left shoulder blade, like we talked about, in the direction of L3. And I'm going to allow my hands to do nothing except for travel in the direction of R1. And when you do that, you can see how this shaft right now is, I'm going to do that again here. You can see how the shaft 
is matching up to the L1 guide, this and the guide down here. So all of a sudden I'm here, now that's the takeaway. From here, then I'm gonna start moving up the geometry and that's like a perfect you know, P2 position or whatever the hell they wanna call it today. And it just gets really simple because if I use the, the, the back side and I get strong and I think like this, I can flip that club head inside really, really quickly. But when you start to understand it is the left side or the lead side of your body that are making these moves to get us to the top of the backswing, it's absolutely going to blow your mind. Because my left, if I do this with just my left hand, watch what happens. I'm here. Look at that club face. If I keep moving up, it's closed. It's still facing the golf ball. It's not tilted here. Some people take this and go like this and they get to that where that club face is really open and you can see the cup in my hand. But I'm not trying to do anything with my hands. I'm definitely not trying to move away down the line. All I'm doing is creating these symmetrical movements in my golf swing. And from here, you can see I'm still connected. This club has not moved inside because it's being done with the left side of my body. And that's it. So, you know, because our left side are for a right handed player, most of our left sides are a little bit weak. Stronger, we're right handed. It makes sense, right? So, for a right handed player, for a left handed player, it'd be, you know, the reverse. So, when we can start doing it, I know you don't have the Polygon Golf Swing Trainer at home, and I use it in a lot of the videos to give us a really good visual of what's really happening in the golf swing and not only happening, but we can discover why. So all of a sudden I'm here, I'm set up in good posture, everything's really good. I know the posture poles, which we've talked about before, sets me at a good 60 degree angle. So then I'm just gonna move the left shoulder blade down to L3, while the hand is moving in the direction of R1, okay? And then when I do that, you can see it is impossible for me to have this club be fan inside too quickly because it's just being governed by the left side of my body. The right side is really doing nothing at this point because we've shifted correctly. The right shoulder is moved back, which clears a path for the club to go. But if I get here and I do it right-handed, the body normally will not turn because really it's the body. See what a lot of people don't understand Everybody talks about get these big shoulder turns, get this, get that. The body is the engine. The body is the engine for stability. Okay, think about this for a minute. The body provides the stability for the arms and hands swinging the club. Okay, so when you learn how to control the body, left going down to L3, hands going up R1, but being governed by the left hand and definitely not the right or the right side of the body. So let's take a look at this from the face-on perspective again. Okay, so when we look at this now, think about this from this perspective. If I get here and I at all, and it, 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 it visually this is, what, this is what messes up a lot of people because they think, oh, I'm right-handed. They get a lot of weight on their right foot. They've been told to you know, tilt your shoulder down, all these different things. So then they're like, well, gosh, Chris, here's the pattern. It's the right side. So let me do this and I can fan that club in there. But when I fan that club in there, if you look at my angles, how they're matched up, they're really not matched up to any part of the geometry right now. But if I just use my left side, the correct side, the lead side of the body, then I'm, hey, look at this. Now from here, I can guarantee you my hips, look at how they're matched up. My chest is matched up. The, and the arms and the hands and the club face are just moving in this direction because it is really, really simple to start understanding what needs to happen in the golf swing when it's being done with the correct side of the body. So if you have any questions, leave them down below. If you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, go ahead and hit that button because you're absolutely going to learn an incredible amount of information. Until next time, we'll see you soon. My name is Chris Hudson. Take care.